today is a refreshing. When I say refreshing, I mean this is an opportunity to make things right and clean it up with, the, with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Do we understand today this is why we are at, at this particular setting today? We are at this particular setting today. And I want to read. I want to read from the book of Hebrew 6. You don't have to turn there. Hebrew 6, verse 6. It says, If they fall, if they shall fall away. To renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. Do you know our brother, our big brother Jesus Christ? We put him to look. An open shame. This is why we're here at this setting today. That's right. To make things anew. So we can clean up the slate in our heart That's right. and to stay away from sin. That's, right. That's why we have communion. So when we leave outside these doors, we can feel clean and cleansed because we have crucified the Lord afresh. We say, oh man, if I was, if I was at the cross, I would, I would have done something different. No, we crucified him afresh in our thoughts. <laughs> when we think things that are not in accordance to his will. So today, at this hour, communion celebration, a commemoration that he was going to be the Lamb of God that which taketh away the sins of the world. Amen. From eternity past to eternity present. So, on that note, prepare our hearts now. Think about anything that you have ever done, and if it hasn't been cleansed, this is the time to do it. Amen? Amen. In remembrance of me. If I was to entitle this, it would be in remembrance of me. But basically, this is not a sermon. This is a refreshment. A refreshment. A token that we should re remember our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our big brother. We got a big brother that has taken us from a lot of things that we haven't even seen. Kept us from a lot of accidents. Kept us in a lot of... That's why we're here today, because of our big brother. has kept us. Amen? Amen. I want to read in your hearing 1 Corinthians 11 verse 24 and 25 it says when and when he had given thanks and break it and said now that breaking symbolizes that we broke him at, we broke him on Calvary we were there I just read to you in Hebrews we crucified him afresh. We can say we weren't there, but we are there when we, we are there when we crucify him afresh in our thoughts and our actions. Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. We spill this blood. This do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. On Calvary, the great, the great sacrifice, his blood was there spilled for you and for me. That we might act right. He didn't spill his blood in vain. He spilled his blood so today 
we can have an opportunity to clean it up and make it right. Amen? Amen. This is from the littlest one to the biggest one. Especially when we're at the age of accountability. And at the Jewish economy, the 12-year-olds are considered accountable. So they don't listen playing dumb no more. It's when we're at the age of accountability. I want to read in your hearing from the spirit of prophecy. It says, he who be beholds the Savior's matchless love will be elevated in thought, <laughs> purified in heart, transferred in character. He will go forth to be a light to the world, to reflect in some degree this mysterious love. The more we contemplate the cross of Christ, the more fully shall we adopt the language of the apostle when he said, God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ by whom the world is crucified unto, unto me and I unto the world. Looking upon the crucified redeemer, we more fully comprehend the magnitude and meaning of the sacrifice made by the majesty of heaven. The plan of salvation is glorified before us. And the thought of Calvary awakens living and sacred emotions in our hearts. Praise to God and the Lamb will be in our hearts and on our lips for pride and self-worship cannot flourish in the soul that keeps fresh in memory the scenes of Calvary. Amen? Amen. Amen. The prophet just said we should study at least an hour a day. That would keep us from a lot of sin. Wouldn't it? If we reflect at least an hour, he yeah, asked the disciples, disciples that were sleeping in the boat, can't you just not in the boat, but on, on, on a, in, in, in good city. Can you all just, basically it's in layman's terms, can you all stay awake? Mm -hmm. Now today's language, can you all stay awake spiritually? Yes. Have we gone, have we crucified him all over again because of our lethargicness? The way we serve him. We going back the other direction instead of going forward. God wants us to go forward in, in Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen? As we receive the bread and wine symbolizing Christ's broken body and spilled blood, we in, we in imagination join in the scene of communion in the upper chamber we seem to be passing through the garden consecrated by the agony of him who bore the sins of the world. We witness the struggle by which our reconciliation with God was obtained. Christ is set forth crucified among us. Now pretty soon, folks, the Bible says all that live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. Are we going to be fearful not to serve God because of that statement? Yeah, we're going to suffer persecution. The holier, the holier we get, the more persecution is coming. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because that means that like the statement in the Bible says, even so come Lord Jesus. Even so come Lord Jesus. Do you feel comfortable in this world? Why do you have to lock your doors then? Why do you have to protect everything? Sin is prevalent everywhere. So as we partake of this communion today, the 
the little crackers, the, the bread that the, when we chew it, just think about what we did. We crucified him because we were there. We crucified him afresh when our thoughts, if our, if our thoughts are not in accordance with him. And that wine, that's the blood that we spilled on Calvary. It reached, it, that blood that spilled on Calvary reached out and flowed out to the world so we could be saved. And you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's not a sermon. It's, it's a token, a commemoration. And as we commemorate what Christ did on Calvary, let us reflect. Let us reflect. Not, let us not talk. I know we're going to be talking about here, but when you're singing, basically, and and the person's foot feet that you wash pray for them and vice versa that we would be an overcomer and we was one day we would sing the song of the lamb how I made it over God is God is dependent on his church this is a fresh start in our walk in salvation. Amen. Amen. God bless you and keep you. May his spirit walk with you today. And as you reflect <coughs> on what was done on Calvary, remember we at least have to study him in just an hour a day. Especially as he was going through the Garden of Gethsemane. When he went through the Garden of Gethsemane, that was an agonizing experience. We're going to go through somewhat similar in, this, in, a, in a time of trouble because we're going to think our sins won't be repented of. Because it's going to be brought back to our minds. Satan's going to make sure he brings back stuff to our mind. And we're going to be repenting over and over. But as long as you've been sealed, we know the Lord has our back. So as we, as we uh, contemplate that, right now, I'm going to go close out in prayer. Eternal God, our Father, we ask, O oh, oh God, that as you give us this fresh touch, help us to stay focused from the children until the adults. Help us to stay focused and to remember your purpose. Help us to remember the purpose of this uh, event today, the commemoration of what you've done on Calvary. Spilled your blood. Trickled out to the world that we might be saved. Thank you, dear Lord, for hearing and answering our prayer. Keep us in the hollow of your hand. Help us to be a fit vessel. And help us to, when we socialize in our daily uh, react in uh, uh, our daily interactions with people that we would not be afraid but help us to be bold and to speak of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Christ him crucified and risen again is our prayer in Jesus name Amen